everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, holiday design on this bottle. I've gone ahead and painted over this with a couple layers of the enamel glitter. This is the silver. And it's still a little tacky, but I'm going to uh, begin to paint on it with my design. I am going to be using... Let's see how many of these. Four A Magic Flat Brushes. Number 12. I'm not going to say these in order probably. If I can even read them. I do believe this is a number 6. Sorry, I get so much paint on another 4. And a number 2. If you're interested in purchasing any of these, I do have affiliate links listed down below the video. I'm also using a magic brush number two and then a clay ball maker which I use for dotting as well as a dotting stylus. Now one thing nice about the magic brushes is that they come with quite a few in a plastic case so you get a variety of uh, sizes for like $15.99 very very affordable. The paint I'm using today is all folk art paint. I'm using burnt umber, school bus yellow, a little bit of berry wine, wicker white, engine red, forest moss, thicket, little bit of classic green, burnt sienna, and licorice. And I'm thinking, did I mention? Yes, I did. Just want to make sure I had them all mentioned. So it's quite a few paints. And I'm just going to do the front of the bottle for the purpose of the video. But for selling purposes, I do the entire bottle. Unless it's one of the Jaeger bottles, which are more like the flat, rectangular ones. I don't always do the, do the entire surface on, or not surface, but the entire bottle around it, just the front. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, dip my brush into the paint that I'm going to be using for the, the flower part. The flower petals. I just dip them in and do blending strokes like that and then I'll begin here now for mine I am going to be doing more of like the wiggle stroke I'm sure there is a a better name for this but I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head I'm just gonna go ahead and do it here and you can do like six petals seven petals you know, whatever, however many you can fit in to the space that you're painting on. Again, that's up to you. And then, just two different shapes. So they're not just all straight. And if you want to really get technical with it, you could kind of tip them and do some painting underneath to, to show movement but I'm just focused on really just trying to get a nice design for the holiday if you have any questions or comments please put those down below underneath the video If you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And I do appreciate any comments that you would want to leave behind. Alright, so then the next thing I'm going to do is get my next largest brush, which would be the number 6. And I'm going to start just tapping it in. I just dip it into all the different greens, the white even. And then do blending strokes to start making my my 
uh, leaves. Alright, so I'm going to come around here and just do a quick, just kind of a little swooping action here. And then turn it, come like that. You can make these bigger if you want. I'm just trying to keep them just right around the flower, not too big, just little, if that makes sense, I hope so. And then I'll just pull it through like that. And then I'll come down here and do a few more. I guess then you can mix them in, you know, add some different colors to them so they're not all identical. And that's up to you. And just kind of just cute little. And you can even leave them like that. You don't have to do them. Um, or they're double-sided even. I think I messed that one up a little bit. Go over it again. The one thing nice when you're doing this with the base coat already on here, it does provide a little bit of a nicer surface to paint on. And it helps with make with making the coverage a little bit nicer too that makes sense to you because I like to have have it as opaque as possible because that increases the durability of the paint if you put it on pretty thickly. If you're doing a bottle though it's probably not quite as important as if you were doing a wine glass or a drinking glass of some sort because with those you're going to be handling those more often and washing them. I'll just come through and you can even you know, change it up and come through with white as the stem if you want. But I'm doing these all the way around pretty much. Keep adding them, and I'm sorry, my furnace is getting ready to come on. I do my videos right now where I create my videos. I do them where my furnace is, where my workroom is. So it's kind of hard to avoid it. Now I am really big on leaves, so if you are someone that doesn't like a whole lot of leaves, or say if you want to just make a single bigger leaf, you could certainly do that. Up to you, or if you don't want to add as many, that's fine as well. So up to you. Definitely. Like I said, this is a lot of leaves, and I know it is. But a very easy design. I mean, you could even just do the front of the bottle and call it a day. Don't have to do the whole thing. Now, I will be adding lights to the inside and I like to use the cork style which is like the wine bottle lights even if it's not a wine bottle which this is not it's probably some other kind of I can't remember what kind it was but it's not a wine bottle actually most of my bottles are not wine bottles right now And then we'll move 
on here. And the next kind. And finish the center of the flower. And I think somehow or another I got some black in here. Not sure how I did that one. But I did. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is take another brush, I hope I'm leaving, leaving enough of these, and make sure I'm using the right one. This is the number four, and I am going to go into my brown, so I'm double loading the burnt sienna and the burnt umber, double loading those, and what I'm going to do is just come through and do some pulls just sporadically around my bottle. I could even add some light on in here if I wanted. But I am going to do this and just bring out some little just some little pulls from the stems. Like that. It's pretty easy. And if you're new to my channel, also please know that I, with my designs, my intent is to provide simple designs so that even beginner painters, you know, will feel comfortable painting or at least trying to be a little creative because I really feel like creativity helps you relax and it's a, a healthy release especially in today's world when there's so much going on. It definitely helps to, you know, to be, you know, to help be healthy, really. Okay, so I'm going to come up here a little bit and just do another little stem. They don't have to have a whole lot of branches on them. They can be, you know, just very simple. I'm going to go back to my green one and I'm just going to go back just into dipping my brush into three different colors trying to avoid avoid the red because I keep getting my brush into that for some reason and then I'm just going to do some just quick I think I might wipe that off again do some quick little pulls with these it's almost like they're from like a evergreen pine tree, you know, kind of tree. And then they're really kind of fillers. I mean, that's how I'm looking at them as being fillers. And I stuck my brush into the bread again. I don't know why I keep doing that. And then you just come up. I mean, you come out just very, very lightly. You can do it like this, and then you can come back in and fill it in if you want. Sometimes I just dip my brush into the darker, come out, come up from it. But you see a little bit of that brown, little twig, branch, whatever you want to call it, from it. And you're just pulling, you know, just nice and neat, fun from these. Very easy. And now I'm going to continue on and do that down here. Again, I'm just pulling towards it. If I pull it away from it, it's going to give me a totally different look. The pressure that I put on my brush will also indicate the style of leaf you get. So, you know, if you just want it to be thin and perky, you can do it just barely touching. If you want it to be a little thicker, a little uh, longer. Put more pressure down. It's up to you. It's a very easy. So much fun. You could even throw some yellow in this too. And I'm not really concerned about these leaves going over my the branches themselves. If you wanted to go in and go back over the brown, you certainly could do that. I'm just not too concerned about it personally. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. You 
You could even turn your brush like the opposite direction because that will give you a different look as well as far as the colors go. Sometimes people don't realize that all you need to do is just turn your brush the opposite direction and it will help you out with giving you more colors. So if you just stuck with one color, that would be kind of boring. And that's why I like to try to use some different colors. I mean, they're all like in the green family or green and whites and yellows and such, but it still makes it a little bit more visual. And since I'm not actually on white right now, I'm on the, the gray, that the white would actually show up now at this point. And like I said, I can come in here with some longer leaves, shorter leaves, stubbier leaves. Fill it in more. And I can even come down here where I don't even have any of the, the branch painted. That's fine too. The biggest thing when you're painting on, on a bottle is keeping yourself from rolling your bottle over and getting your paint into the design and ruining the design, which I am a professional at ruining it, I have to admit. Really very good at that. Very good at it. go like this. See where I just you know I kind of turn the brush around and put some paint on it and come out away from it like this. Make it interesting. Okay. And the one last thing I wanted to add, still with the same brush, and I'm going to come up here and just draw another little little stem in and this is just going to be more of a rounder type leaf. And I'll show you here. The stem is a little bit thicker than I like. And I'm just going to come up here and do it again. And you can do it like that where you do like two poles to make one, a leaf. You can do it like that too. And basically what I mean is like going like this, going like this, and then you got a, a leaf in there. And you'll see what I'm going to do here with it next. And I don't know if you're one that wants to decorate early this year, but I know a lot of people are kind of feeling that since this has been such a crazy year. As I keep saying it's the, the year that keeps giving with all the stuff that keeps happening. I mean personally or within people's families or the animals, that kind of thing. Just kind of ready for it to be over. I just pray, 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 pray that next year is better. But I feel like every time I do that, it's kind of, it's not, doesn't happen to be that way, which, you know, whatever. All right, so let me go do that, and then I'm going to do you do another one out here. I just don't want to make this too long of a video, guys. That's my only my only concern. I don't want this to be too thick. But I can do my little leaves like that. Just pull them too. Looks like I got some red in here, which I probably did because I've got some red in my white. But that's okay, right? And you can like so with the reds and all, or not the reds, but the greens. You know, just put more of them together. Like that. And if you want, you make some maybe little little leaves that come into this. Very easy. And then I would do probably one last one over this direction. 
And as you can see, you know, I'm just working, like, once again, not to touch my bottle on anything. I'm trying to keep it up in the air here. And if you feel like I'm getting too crazy with the greenery, you know, just feel free to do less if that's what you want. Because I know, I definitely know I can be, I can be that way. Not everybody likes it. Like that. Then what I want to do, take my clay ball maker. I'm dipping it into the red. And then I'm going to come here and just put in some red. I would say our berries. You can try to make them different sizes. Just that just kind of gives them a little bit more, I think, interest when you vary the size. And I'm sticking with my threes. You can put more or less in. Obviously, I'm very, very easy to get along with when it comes to the designs that I create and how you interpret them. And kind of put those on top of each other, which is fine. And if you want to run stems through them, you can do that too, or stems to them. However you want to do it. Like brown little stems. Easy peasy. I think the the little dots add a lot to this. And I'll just add a little few up here. And we'll put that down. Alright, so here we go. Pretty busy bottle. Pretty busy. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my little round brush. I'm going to dip it into the berry wine and I am going to let's clean that off just a smidge because I want nice lines. I'm going to do this first on my paper. I did it last, but I'm going to do it first. And I am just going to draw in some vi veins. Not vines, but veins into my design. They don't have to be perfect. They can just be very you know, light and kind of whimsical, that's fine. Or you can leave them out. If you like it without, that's fine too. But I'm putting them in, I don't typically do this a lot, but I thought on this design I'd go ahead and, and do it. Just do something a little different. Now my other favorite little brush probably would have been even better, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to use my round brush. I just want to make sure I'm not putting too much paint on my brush. Like that. You don't even have to do it as much if you don't want. And if you don't like this part, then leave it out. Not necessary. Alright, one last thing I'm going to do is take my the number two, I guess I'll say four, number two brush, and let's see if I can get it double loaded. Because so I tried this on my paper and didn't know if I really liked it, but I've also have now have this these vines on here. So I'm going to do this, pull it like that. I thought it'd be a little bit more whimsical than actually doing it. Let me see here. I feel like I'm not getting the paint on here the way I wanted it. Like 
this. Yeah, you just got to do, you can do them separately and then just have the poles coming out like that if you want. Then what I do, take my dotting stylus and I'm going to put some black dots in the center. Very simple. You can put a few, you can put a lot, it's up to you. Alright, so here we go. Not a whole lot left to paint the entire bottle. You can come up more into the top part here if you want. Looks like I've kind of scratched it up by holding on to I give the death grip. But here you go. Nice little uh, holiday design and all you have to do is throw some bottle lights in here and you're good to go. Alright, I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please sh uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure you share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a good one. See you then.